Hey everyone, uh, so today we are going to look at uh, this uh, little physical computing um, DIY electronics uh, little thing called a relay switch. Uh, and we're going to use it with Touch Designer. Uh, a previous example that I showed doing a little detection. Uh, and we're going to get this value coming through to our Arduino here. And then the Arduino uh, sends a high or low message out to our relay module, uh, which is connected to this lamp. Uh, so that enables us to power 120 volt electronics with Arduino or other touch designer tricks. So let's have a look at how that works. OK, to start, here is a little diagram that can show uh, all the connections a little bit more clearly. Uh, you can see. Uh, so the relay is essentially, uh, you, you chop one side of the, the wire inside of um, a lamp or some other 120 volt electronic device, and it essentially acts like a gate uh, with this yellow signal coming from the Arduino, which would be coming out of a digital pen. Um, it's sending a high or low uh, signal, or we can also do it with a, a 0 or 255 integer. Um, that then is going to open or close, uh, I have this colored blue right here, this little gate, um, and allow the 120 volts to pass to the light or to not let it pass. So that's essentially is how that's working. So let's start here. Um, so this is kind of the, the maybe the scariest part uh, if someone that's not familiar with electronics. Um, so what we first do, I take the, the power cable and I use this little utility knife to kind of split. So there's two different wires inside actually. Now we want only to cut one of those. The other one just remains um, as is and it passes through to the wall outlet. And I'll go ahead and just snip those with some scissors. Uh, and then we need a wire stripper. Here we go. Uh, this one here has kind of adjustable depending on what gauge your wire is. Um, and I usually just kind of test it out and to get to the right size to where it's easy. Kind of like snip it around the hole. Okay, voila, there's one. There's the other one. And once we uh, strip the cable, we need to kind of twist it so they're a little bit more sturdy. Uh, I've seen examples online, uh, people that are a little, little more easy with a solder than I am, but uh, soldering the tips of that is a handy trick also if, uh, to get them to really s stick together. Um, but this this is fine if you kind of just twist it. I probably stripped a little bit too much of the, um, the coating. But that's essentially what we need. So those are the two parts of the wire that are going to be plugged into the relay. you can kind of see here um, one side continues the other side is cut okay let's take a look at the the relay module this is uh, from a company called inland uh, this is called an inland two channel um, five volt relay module so this could actually switch two different things at once uh, we're only going to be looking at this first one uh, it's listed as k1 right here and this is uh, kind of shows that gate so um, the two right inputs are always connected. The two on the left, that what I'm kind of pointing to here, those are usually not connected. Uh, so depending on the input signal coming from the Arduino, that, that gate then closes. Uh, so here on the other side, we see coming from Arduino, we have ground, input one, which will uh, control the switch for that first relay, N2 controls the, the second relay, and then VCC is the five volts. Uh, so I'm only showing using one device at a time, but you could do two of these with a single relay switch. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then so I'm taking the wires that I cut. I've got a, a little screwdriver here. I'm just going to loosen up these two inputs. So again, so these wires normally will not be connected and only when it receives an appropriate signal from the Arduino will that uh, switch kind of close and be connected. So you just want to tighten it enough so it's sturdy. OK, 
Okay. Now we're connected. Okay, next up, let's bring in the Arduino. Uh, so this is an, just an old Mega board that I had. You can do any any board you want. Uh, the Uno is fine. The, uh, the more normal boards, I just had this old board lying around. Uh, so to, to start, this is just showing that I'm running the kind of default basic blink sketch in Digital Pen 13. You can see my LEDs blinking on and off. Nothing too exciting. Okay, so now instead of the LED, uh, we've got our connections to the relay. Uh, and just to show what type of cables I'm using here, uh, just because of the the way that the uh, pins on the relay are, I've got this type of cable here. So that's going five volts Arduino into the five volts on the relay. Same with ground, same with digital pin 13. And then here's just to show a little bit closer where those are plugged in on the right side there. Okay, let's plug it in. Uh, here's the plug from the bulb, the lamp. 120 volts in this power cord here. And once you do that, we need to be very careful. Uh, so now the, the little copper wires over there plugged into the relay module. Uh, could shock you, uh, so make sure you do not touch them. Um, the soldered um, ends on the other side of the boards, the relay as well as the Arduino, just make sure you're not sitting this on any kind of metallic working surface uh, and just be careful what you're touching from this point. And with that, make sure everything's plugged in. Uh, if your lamp was like mine that has a separate kind of manual switch, make sure that was switched to the on position. And now we've got our Arduino powering this bulb. Cool. Um, but of course, we're not going to stop there. Let's uh, let's get Touch Designer involved with this and see if we can do some type of motion detection. So as far as Touch Designer is concerned, um, really, I'm just going to show this one screenshot because uh, this is really all that is necessary to do the communication to the Arduino. That's all we need. Um, now I'm I'm using my detection system. I've got another video um, specifically on that, so you can uh, check the link uh, in the description and, and check that out if you want. Uh, but essentially, all I'm doing is sending. Uh, if you see here in this chop execute dat, I'm um, referencing my serial one uh, operator, and I'm sending bytes. Um, and those, the numbers I'm sending are either zero or two fifty five. Um, and serial is connected to the USB um, port where my Arduino is living. So therefore, the Arduino is receiving that number for 0 to 255. So that's, that's all it's doing. In your Touch Designer network, you can parse um, you know, data in whatever way you want to to create those numbers. Also on the Arduino side of things, uh, pretty simple. Uh, we're just creating the serial connection. Um, setting our pin mode, and really all we're doing is reading um, that serial information coming in, uh, which is coming from Touch Designer 0 or 255, uh, two different possible integers, uh, and we are writing that uh, to pin 13. Uh, I use the analog write here. You could use a, a digital write also. It doesn't really matter. Uh, these last serial um, dot print um, Arduino received incoming byte, that's just for a kind of debugger that you can have that also be displayed in the serial dat in Touch Designer. Not, uh, not necessary uh, for it to function properly though. So that's all it is.